Good day, learners. Our subject for today is Mathematics 5 for quarter 4, week 2. And our topic is Volume of a Cube and Rectangular Prism. For the most essential learning competencies, visualizes the volume of a cube and rectangular prism. Names the appropriate unit of measure used for measuring the volume of a cube and rectangular prism. Then derives the formula in finding the volume of a cube and rectangular prism using cubic centimeter and cubic meter. Converts cubic centimeter to cubic meter and vice versa and cubic centimeter to liters and vice versa. When we are asked to find an amount that will occupy space and not just a surface, we are being introduced to another application of measurement, which is the volume. Volume is the three-dimensional size of an object measured in cubic units. It is expressed in cubic centimeters, cubic decimeters, cubic meters, cubic inches, cubic feet, and cubic yards, and others. Let us now read the following problem. A science teacher handed each of her uh, pupils a rectangular flower pot, flower pot 6 inches by 5 inches. The entire class was brought to the school garden and the pupils were asked to fill up their a flower pot with soil until it reaches the height of 8 inches. How much soil will be needed by each pupil? So in the given problem, we are asked to find the amount of soil needed to fill the flower pot up to the height of 8 inches. Let us visualize the problem. So for the rectangular pot, so we have this image. So this is a table two-dimensional so that means we have to find the area of this uh, rectangular pad so we will be needing the width which is five inches and the length which is six inches so let us now find the area so the formula in finding the area is a is equals to length times width so let us now substitute so length is six inches and times five inches which is our width and uh, to find the area, we have to multiply the length times width. So that is equivalent to 30 square inches. And since lalagyan natin ng lupa yung rectangular part, so that means meron na siyang tatlong dimensions. So we have the length, which is 6 inches, and the width, which is 5 inches, and the height of the a rectangular pad which is ang ilalagay nila is hanggang 8 inches. So, volume na ang ating kukuhanin. And to find the volume, we will be using the formula V is equals to length times width times height. And then if we are going to uh, substitute, so the length is 6 inches times width which, is, which has uh, 5 inches and the height which is 8 inches so that means the volume is equivalent to 240 uh, cubic inches so therefore each pupil would need 240 cubic inches of soil in their flower pot so for the rectangular prism so this is a rectangular prism which is made up of unit cubes and this rectangular prism has volume of 30 cubic units okay so volume is measured according to the length the width and the height of the figure so the formula in finding the volume of a rectangular prism is so v is equals to a length or l times width or w and then height and then h so the formula is v is equals to l times uh, w times height so in this figure, so the length has 5 units. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5 units. And the width has 3, so you have 1, 2, and then 3. And the height of this figure has 2 units, so 1 and 2. So when 
we are about to um, substitute, so the volume is equals to 5, which is the length, and the width, which is 3, and then the height, which is 2. So to find the volume, we have to multiply 5 times 3 and times 2. So that is equivalent to 30 cubic units. So this rectangular uh, prism has 30 cubic units. Okay, so let us have the cube. So this is the uh, sample of a cube. So and this cube has um, length width and then height for the sides therefore the formula that we are going to use is v is equals to s uh, cube or v is equals to s times s times s and the sides has five units so we have one two three four and then five and also the height one two three four and then five and also the width has five uh, units so therefore the uh, volume of this cube is v is equals to five times five times five so again we will multiply five times five times five to get uh, 125 cubic units so therefore this cube that we have has 125 cubic units Okay, so the cubic units we use most often for volume are cubic centimeter, uh, cubic decimeter, cubic meter, milliliter, and liter. And these are related as follows. Like, for example, we have 1,000 uh, cubic centimeter that is equivalent to 1 uh, cubic decimeter. And 1 million cubic centimeter that is equivalent to 1 cubic meter. So, 1,000 uh, cubic decimeter is equal, is equal to 1 cubic meter. And then, one cubic, decim uh, 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1 liter. So, the same lang yung ano nila, um, value nila. And then, 1,000 cubic uh, centimeter is equivalent to 1 liter. And then, 1,000 liter, that is equivalent to 1 cubic meter and then 1 cubic centimeter that is equivalent to 1 uh, milliliter to convert the cubic unit of measure to its larger equivalence use division and to convert the bigger units uh, to its smaller equivalence use multiplication so let us see for example number one so we have 5 million cubic centimeter. How many cubic meter? So this is smaller unit to bigger unit. So that means, uh, remember that for every 1 million cubic centimeter, that is only equivalent to 1 cubic meter. So therefore, 5 million divided by 1 million, that is equals to 5. So we can also use the constellation for this process so 5 divided by 1 that is 5 so that means for 5 million cubic centimeter that is equivalent to 5 cubic meter so example number 2 so 4.3 cubic meter so how many cubic centimeters so baligtad naman sila no example number 1 so bigger unit to smaller unit so again so for every 1 million cubic centimeter, that is equivalent to 1 cubic meter. So we have to multiply. So 4.3 times 1 million, that is 4,300,000 uh, cubic centimeter. So that is our answer. So 4.3 cubic meter is equivalent to 4,300,000 uh, cubic centimeter. Another example, number three, so we have a uh, liter to uh, cubic meter. So 7.25 liter is equal to how many cubic meter? So for every 1,000 liter, that is only equivalent to one um, cubic meter. So therefore, we have to divide. 
So, 7.5 uh, divided by 1,000. Uh, that is equivalent to uh, 725,000. Okay, so that means for every 7.25 liters, that is equivalent to 725,000 cubic uh, meters. So, for example number four, we have 12,000 cubic uh, centimeter is how many liters? So, smaller unit to bigger unit. So, again, 1,000 cubic uh, centimeter is equivalent to one liter. So, we have to divide. So, 12,000 divided by 1,000, the answer is 12. So, that means... Uh, we can also cancel, cancel or use cancellation. So, uh, 12 divided by 1, the answer is 12. So, that means 12,000 uh, cubic centimeter is equivalent to 12 liters. Okay, for example, number 5. So, 3,500 liters is equivalent to... Um, how many cubic meter? So, smaller unit to bigger unit. So, again, so for every 1,000 liter, that is equivalent to 1 cubic meter. So, we have to divide. So, 3,500 divided by 1,000. So, that is equal to 3.5 cubic meter. Or we can use also cancellation. So, we have to cancel. So, that means 3... Uh, 35 divided by 10 that is equivalent to 3.5 so that means uh, 3,500 liters is equivalent to 3.5 cubic meter now let us uh, try to answer learning task 1 count the number of cubic units to find the volume of the following rectangular prism and cubes so, here are the rectangular prism and cubes. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. Okay, so let us uh, check your answer. So, it's time to check. So, let us uh, first uh, do the first figure. So again, we will be using the formula V is equals to length times width times height. So we have the length which has a 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So that means meron tayo uh, 4 units of length. And then the width, we have 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So the same. So uh, the width has also 4 units. While the height, it has 1 and then 2. So, if you are going to substitute, uh, V is equals to 4, which is the length, times 4, which is the uh, width, and times 2, which is the height. So, again, we will multiply. So, 4 times 4, and then times 2. So, that means uh, this figure has 32 cubic units. Okay. Okay, so this time, let us check the uh, third rectangular prism. So again, the volume is equals to length times width times height. So let us count the length. So it has 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. And then we have the width. 1, 2, and then 3. Yung lapad niya is 3. And then yung height niya is 1, 2, and then 3. So, let us now substitute. So, V is equals to 4, which is the length, and uh, 3, which is the width, and 3, which is the height. So, again, we will multiply 4 times 3, and then times 3. So, when we multiply that, we will get volume of this uh, rectangular prism is 36 cubic units. So, let's move on to 
the fourth uh, rectangular prism. So, this is an example of a cube. So, that means pare-parehas yung uh, kanilang sides. So, uh, the formula that we are going to use is S times S times S. Okay, but ilan kaya yung sides, each side of this cube? So, we have 1, 2, and then 3. So, since cube yan, so dapat pare-parehas yung kanilang uh, sides. So, yan. So, we have uh, 3. So, when we substitute, so that is 3 times 3 times 3. So, again, let us multiply. So, to get the volume. So, the volume is uh, 27 cubic, mit, uh, cubic units. Okay, for the fourth figure, we have, uh, this is an example of a cube. Where in, uh, we will be using the formula V is equals to S times S times S. So, that means uh, the size of this uh, figure has the same value. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. So, that is the length or the first side. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 as our width. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as the height. So, when we con uh, substitute... Uh, v is equals to 5 times 5 times 5. And then to get the volume of this figure, so we have 5 times 5 times 5. So that means the volume of this container or this figure is equivalent to 125 cubic units. And for the last figure, so... Uh, the formula is V is equal to S times S times S. So, this is also a cube. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is the uh, length and the width. 1, 2, 3, and then 4. And the height is also 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So, let us now substitute. So, 4 times 4 times 4. So, we will multiply and this figure has 64 cubic units. Now, for learning task number 3, study the illustrations and answer the questions below. So, this is the illustration. So, how many layers fill the figure? Okay, so for number 1, what kind of solid figure is the container? Okay, so this container, another question is how many layers are there? So let us answer the following questions. So for number one, what kind of solid figure is the container? So this figure is a rectangular prism. And for number two, how many layers are there? So th this figure has eight layers. Okay, so as we continue answering the questions for learning task number 3, so again, we will be using the same uh, illustration. So for number 3 questions, uh, question, what are the dimensions of the container? Number 4, how many cubic units are there in one layer? Number 5, how many cubic units fit the container? So for number 1 question, the answer is the dimensions are the length, the width, and the and for number four, so in finding the volume of this container, we will be using the formula V is equals to length times width times height. So that means uh, when we are going to substitute, we have 6 times 4 times 1. So saan ang galing yung 6, yung 4, and then yung 1. So yung length natin, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. Yan. And then we have the a width which is 1 to 4, yung nasa sides natin. And uh, since ang tinatanong naman is 1 layer lang, so yung 1 lang ang ating 
uh, kagamitin. So, when we multiply that, we will have 24 cubic units. So, that means that uh, that container has 24 cubic units in one layer. Okay, now for number 5, how many cubic units fit the container? Okay, so again, we will be using the formula V is equals to length times width times height. Yeah, so when we substitute, magiging 8 na siya kasi yung buong container na ang tinatanong. So we have 6 times 4, so the same pa rin. We have 6 uh, as the length and then we have 4 as our um, width and the height is 8. Okay, yung kanina, 1 yung ginamit natin kasi isang layer lang yung uh, tinatanong. So, ngayon, gagamitin na natin is 8 yung buong container na, yung taas ng buong container. Okay, and then when we multiply that, we will have 192 cubic units. So, therefore, there are 192 cubic units in this container. Now, for learning task number 4, convert the following cubic units as indicated. Okay, so we have a number 1, 2 million cubic centimeter. How many cubic meter? For number 2, 5.4 cubic uh, meter. How many cubic centimeter? And number nine, uh, number 3, 9,500 cu um, cubic decimeter is how many cubic meter? Number 4, 15.2 liters is how many cubic uh, centimeter? And number 5, uh, 25,000 cubic centimeter is how many liters? Okay. Okay, so it's time to check your answer for number 1. So... Number one question is 2,000, uh, 2 million cubic centimeter is how many cubic meter? So remember that for every 1 million cubic centimeter, that is only equivalent to 1 cubic meter. Okay, so that means a smaller unit to bigger unit. So 2 million divided by 1 million, the answer is 2. Okay, so we can also use cancellation. Okay, so matitira na lang natin is 2 and then 1. So, 2 divided by 1, the answer is 2. So, that means for every 2 million cubic centimeter, that is equivalent to 2 cubic meter. Okay, let's move on to number 2. Okay, 5.4 cubic meter is equivalent to how many cubic centimeter? So, this is bigger unit to a smaller unit. So, again... Uh, 1 million for every 1 million cubic centimeter that is equivalent to 1 cubic meter. So, we are going to multiply. So, 5.4 times 1 million, the answer is 5,400,000. Okay, so that means for every for 5.4 cubic meter that is equivalent to 5 million 400,000 cubic centimeter okay for number 3 so we have 9500 cubic decimeter is how many cubic meter so for every 1000 cubic decimeter that is equivalent to 1 cubic meter. So, smaller unit to bigger unit. So, 9,500 divided by 1,000. Okay? So, that is equivalent to 9.5. Okay. So, the answer for, so that means a 9,500 cubic decimeter is equivalent to 9.5 cubic meter. And for number 4, 15.2 liters is equivalent to how many cubic centimeter? So, one, for every 1,000 cubic centimeter, that is equivalent to 1 liter. So, bigger unit to smaller unit. So, we have to multiply. 15.2 times 1,000. The answer is 15,200. So, for... Uh, 15.2 liters is equivalent to 15,000 uh, cubic centimeter. And for number 5, 25,000 cubic centimeter 
is how many liters. So, kabaligtaran naman ng isa. So, again, for every 1,000 cubic centimeter, that is equivalent to 1 liter. So, smaller unit to bigger unit. So, we will divide. So, 25,000 divided by 1,000, that is 25. So, that means for every 25,000 cubic centimeter, that is equivalent to 25 liters. Okay, for learning task number 5, on a grid paper, draw the following rectangular prism or cubes with the following volumes. So, we have for number 1, 15 cubic centimeter, number 2, 18 cubic centimeter, number 3, 27 cubic centimeter, number 4, 30 cubic centimeter, and number 5, 64 cubic centimeter. Okay, so I will answer number 1 and number 2 as an example. So you have to answer number 3 and number uh, down to 5. So this is the example number 1. So this is the um, for number 1. So we have 15 cubic centimeter. So as you can see, the length is 5 centimeter times 3 centimeter and times 1 centimeter. So, when you multiply that, you will get 15 cubic centimeters. Okay, so for example, number 2. So, this is the figure for number 2. Okay, so we have 3 centimeter, we have 2 centimeter, and then we have 3 centimeter. So, Again, we will be using the formula B is equals to length times width times height. And the length is 3 cm, the width is 2 cm, and the height is 3 cm. So, when we multiply 3 times 2 times 3, so we will get volume is equivalent to 18 cubic cm. Okay. So, that means for learning task number 5, you will answer number 3, number 2, and number 5. So remember that volume is the amount of space occupied by a solid figure. It is the number of cubic units needed to fill in the container. And volume is uh, three-dimensional, which is composed of the area of the base, which is the length times width times the height. That is why it is always expressed in cubic units such as cubic centimeter, cubic decimeter, cubic meter, cubic inches, cubic feet, etc. So the formula for finding the volume of a cube is V is equals to uh, S times S times S or S cube or edge which is E times A, E times E or E cube. While the formula for finding the volume of a rectangular prism is V is equals to length times width times height. Okay, so for learning task number six, give the volume of the following solid figures. So one, two, three, four, and then five. Okay, so unahin natin yung one. Okay, so this is a cube. At ang cube na ito is ang sides niya is merong 5. I'm sorry, 4. So, pare-parehas yung kanyang sides. So, 4 times 4 times 4. So, you have 64 cubic units. And, uh, the second figure. So, ang length niya is, this is a rectangular prism. So, ang length niya ay uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. Ang kanyang width is 1, 2, 3. And then, ang kanyang height is 2. So, that means 5 times 3 times 2. So, you will get 30 cubic units. And then, for the third figure, so, ang cubic units niya is 28 cubic units. Okay. So, kung bibilangin natin yung... Uh, uh, units ng figure na ito meron siyang 28 cubic units and number 4 it has 12 cubic units and then ang number 5 it has 14 cubic units ang isang cube ay uh, 1 unit 
Okay, for letter B, what is the appropriate unit of measure to be used in measuring the volume of the following objects? Okay, so ang gagamitin natin is cubic, centimeter, cubic, decimeter, and cubic meter. So, number one, our number six, aquarium. Number seven, classroom. Number eight, cabinet. Number nine, plant box. And number ten, dictionary. Okay, so let us now answer number six, aquarium. So, we will be using cubic decimeter. Number eight, Classroom, cubic meter. Number eight, cabinet, cubic meter. Number nine, plant box. So we will be using cubic uh, decimeter. And number ten, dictionary, we will be using cubic centimeter. Okay, another activity for learning task number six, convert the following cubic units as indicated. Okay, so for number eleven, 35.5 cubic meter is how many cubic centimeter? So again, bigger unit is smaller unit. So remember that for every 1 million cubic centimeter, that is equivalent to 1 cubic meter. So what are we going to do? We will multiply. So 35.5 times 1 million, that is equivalent to 35 um, million 500,000. So that means for 35.5 cubic meter, that is equivalent to 35,500,000 cubic centimeter. And for number 2, 87,000 cubic centimeter is how many liters? So smaller unit to bigger unit. So 1,000 for every 1,000 cubic centimeter, that is equivalent to 1 liter. So divide. So 87. 1,000 divided by 1,000, that is equivalent to 87. Okay, so we can also use cancellation. So, matitira na lang is 87 and 1. So, 87 divided by 1, the answer is 87 liters. So, that means so 87,000 cubic centimeter, that is equivalent to um, 87 liters. Okay, to continue the activity, so for letter C, read and solve the following problems. So for number 13, a truck delivers 4.5 cubic meter of sand. How many cubic decimeters of sand does a truck hold? So, uh, we have 4.5 cubic meter is equivalent to uh, how many cubic decimeter? So this is bigger unit to smaller unit. So that means, so for every 1,000 uh, cubic decimeter, that is equivalent to 1 uh, cubic meter. So ano ang gagawin natin? We will multiply. So 4.5 times 1,000. So that is equivalent to 4,500. So that means for uh, 4.5 cubic meter is equivalent to 4,500 cubic decimeter. Okay, to continue, for number 14, a water tank can hold 3 cubic meter of water. How many liters of water can fill it? So, 3 cubic uh, meter is equivalent to how many liters? So, for every 1,000 liter, that is equal to uh, 1 cubic uh, meter. So, that means we are going to multiply 3 times 1,000, uh, 1, that is 3 thousand. So, the answer is uh, 3 cubic meter is equal to 3,000 liters ang kailangan to fill in the water tank. Okay, to continue for the uh, problem number 15, a bottle of 1.5 liters of energy drink is transferred to bottles of 250 uh, cubic centimeter each and how many bottles will be used? So, i-convert muna natin sa cubic centimeter. So, 1.5 liters is equivalent to how many cubic centimeter? <clears throat> so, for every 1,000 cubic centimeter, that is equivalent to 1 liter. So, 1.5 times 1,000, that is 1,500 cubic centimeter. So, ngayon na nakuha na natin yung... Um, 
1.5 liters, makukuha na natin ngayon kung ilang bottle ang maaring gamitin na 250 cubic centimeter. So that means 1,500 cubic centimeter, divide natin sa 250 cubic centimeter na uh, size ng bottle. So when you divide, so the answer will be 6 bottles will be used. And that concludes our topic about volume of a cube and a rectangular prism. I hope that you learned something from this lesson. Thank you very much and God bless everyone.